What's up guys, this is iTweets here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you a new tweet called Popular. Now what Popular does is give you all of your most used applications right there in the app switcher. So you can see right here that our recent contacts have been removed, and now we have our most used apps. So this is all dynamically assigned just based off usage of each application, and you can see that you can actually get quite a bit of applications right up here. Right now I just have, I believe, 10 set, but you can see right here if we go into our settings you'll notice if we go back here and we go into popular here is the toggle to enable or disable this tweak and then for the settings if we go ahead and open that up you'll notice that we have a maximum icon count which i've set to 10. you can actually put this all the way up to 75 if you want to have that many which kind of you know it doesn't really make best use of the tweak just because you kind of want to have your most used applications right there that you can just tap on and then use so i'm going to actually set this to five which is probably what i would use if i was going to use this tweak and you can see that that dynamically changes to the top five applications right there so let's go back into the settings here and then you also have statistics so this is going to tell you how long you've actually used the application now notice that all these times are basically just set off of uh, after I've installed the tweak, so I just kind of loaded some up. That's why you only see four or six seconds, you know, right that. But once you use this for a while, maybe a day, then it's going to actually get a more accurate use case for this tweak, and then it's going to put those applications right up there. Now we also have blacklist if you don't want to have specific applications right up there. So maybe you have something like the camera, or for whatever reason, you have some application that you're in a lot that you don't necessarily want to show up on your app switcher. Well, then you can just deactivate that very easily. So let's just go down here to settings and we'll toggle that off and then we'll go back, open up the app switcher. You'll notice that the settings is not there and now we have Tweetbot right there since we have five set. So we're gonna go back here and we're gonna go down here to favorites. So if you have your favorites toggled on then you can select the applications right here. So just tap on add an application. Let's say that we wanted to add activator. So now when we go back you're gonna notice that our favorite applications are right over here to the left. So if we add multiple which I'll do right here, add an application, we'll add the uh, camera as well, and go back, and you'll notice that we have the camera right there. So basically all of your favorite applications are gonna populate to the left of your most used apps. So just keep that in mind. So we'll go back here and go down here to general so you can actually hide section labels that we can tap on right there, and we can also hide icon labels. So if we open that back up, you'll notice that it's just going to be the icons. It's going to be a lot more clean, more minimalistic look. Of course, if we just turn off one, then you'll notice that we have favorites and most used apps, but we don't have the actual names of the icons. Now, that's basically all that Popular does. You can add your most used applications as well as your favorite applications right there to the top of your app switcher. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, until next time, peace.